Hello and welcome to day 11 of uh, whatever this is called, Daily December on the Old God of Black. Um, today's something that I've been thinking about for a couple of weeks now, months, since we signed Adama Traore really. Um, we've got a bit of a problem I think, we don't know how to use him uh, effectively and there have been rumours recently that he could be shipped off in January which would be quite something for somebody who came with such a hefty price tag back in uh, September, first of, oh no, uh, August first, wasn't it? Before the season started, uh, but really hit the ground running uh, with that goal uh, in the West Ham game. But since then, has he really contributed a lot? I don't think so. Um, I don't think he's been used effectively by Nuno when he starts matches. I don't think he should be doing that at all. I'm almost certain that he should be uh, an impact substitute, and regardless of his price tag. Uh, that's how he should be used, I think. And so I was just quickly editing the video and I realised that I didn't mention at all about Traore's really poor scoring record and assist record in the Premier League. He scored one goal and he's got two assists in 50 Premier League appearances, obviously for Middlesbrough and for Aston Villa. Uh, that's really, really poor. Um, for somebody with such talent and such pace, he's not troubling defences anywhere near enough. I also realised that I didn't really answer the question that I posed myself, how to solve a problem like Traore. So what I would say is that he needs to be played down the middle when we are winning a game. He needs to come off the bench and he needs to give the opposition something to think about while they are trying to throw men forward as well because it, his ability to catch people on the break is second to none in the league. I think he's genuinely the best player running but we don't use him effectively. I think we just need to lump the ball long to him and get him running like he did against Arsenal. I think that was the best example that we've seen of him being used for Wolves. But it's not as it's not consistent enough. It needs to be every single game. But to be honest, to be brutally honest, if we were to sell him in uh, January, I don't think I'd miss him that much at all, to be honest. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. I'm very disappointed, really, because obviously he came with such high anticipation, but he's just not a good enough footballer. I've heard a number of times now on the terraces during games that he just does not use the ball wisely enough, he doesn't get his head up quickly enough and when he does he loses control of the ball and he can say oh it's because he's running so fast but he's a professional athlete, professional footballer, should be able to run quickly and look up at the same time and use both feet and anticipate the ball coming to him. He doesn't do any of that at all and for where we want to be whether, it, whether the rumours have been because Nuno doesn't think that he's adapted well enough to his tactics, I don't know. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And don't forget, like and subscribe uh, and everything else. And there'll be another video up tomorrow.